Welcome to another episode of Same Page. I am Nina Simejist, and this is my lovely wife, Sarah Simejist. Today's topic is on marriage, and the question is, would you do it all over again? Yes, would you do it all over again? Yeah. So what I want to ask you okay. before we start yeah. is, um, what was your idea of marriage before we got married? So my idea of marriage before we got married was uh, basically like it was a blending of two families. Uh, also, it involved uh, having a constant companion to go to different functions and events. Um, and also, um, it, it just boiled down to someone being with someone that you were going to grow old with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sort of like the picture that you see mm -hmm. um, either on television exactly. or that only like, people talk about. Yeah, yeah. like almost that fairy tale type of image that you have when it comes to marriages. Right. And mine was sort of similar in a sense that I definitely thought of marriage as companionship for life. You know, wherever you go, you have a companion. Mm -hmm. um, I thought of it as traveling, tell the truth, you know, going on vacation again with your companion and having kids. Those were basically the three things that really popped into my head when you talked about marriage. I didn't think of the day-to-day -day activities. I didn't think of the communication. I didn't mm -hmm. think of what really kids meant to tell the truth um, and raising them and things like that. It was just sort of like, I have a companion, we're going to travel and we're going to have kids, period. Yeah. And and it's definitely not like that. It's definitely not like that. And I, I'm glad you, you, you brought up the point about about starting a family because that, actually that's one thing that I forgot to mention too. Like, like, I guess for me, the whole idea of getting married is to be with that person and also to start a family as well right mm -hmm. how did marriage change or should I, I should say how did your idea of marriage change once you got married so obviously it wasn't the same as what you thought mm -hmm. um what was different the, the one of the main things that was very different for me from the get-go was just the fact that i needed to improve on my communication skills there's a lot of communication that's involved um Obviously, you guys need to. We need to be on the same page. But there's there's a constant dialogue going on. You have to stay connected with your partner, and um, and 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 that uh, once I guess once all the the honeymoon phase and all those butterflies, all they go, to, all, all those things go away. Then you realize that okay, like there's a lot of work involved as far as staying on top of everything and making sure that when you communicate, you're actually. Uh, transmitting um, um, your thoughts and ideas in a very concise way so that your partner actually understands what's going on. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I do agree with that. There's a lot more communication than I ever envisioned um, there to be in a, in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And even when we were living together, I didn't feel, I really felt like we had to communicate and talk about our goals and all that once we got married even when we were living together mm -hmm. it was sort of like you had your life i had my life um yes you know we came together and did things together yeah. but it wasn't like we were talking about sort of like our common goals and really diving into our finances and and all of that um it's really when, once we got married i felt i felt that ch things changed a lot right yeah. you had to communicate um we really had to talk about the daily things like the chores who's going to do that who is going to pay this and um etc etc and for some reason well i know exactly why before you get married you don't really talk about these things or or think about these things and that was the shocker yeah. for me. yeah so one more point that i would like to bring up was the fact that before we got married i found it easier to um either to show affection or to or to go out my way to either surprise Sarah or take her out. But then once you get married, at least for me, I found that I got re really comfortable. And, and then I kind of failed a little bit or uh, took a step back on showing uh, uh, my affection in those ways. Okay, okay. So you're just sort of more um, so comfortable that you didn't feel like, wait a minute, I still have to show, you know, yeah, some affection do those things. and, and yeah. make, the effort to show the person that you love exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah, I totally understand. Um, 
So knowing what we've been through, knowing what um, marriage is really like, and we have, you know, forever to go, would you do it again? Would you get married again? Simple answer, yes. Okay, and why? Well, the reason why is for me, like, getting married, uh, there's so many layers involved as far as obviously having, having a companion, uh, someone to, to, to basically share my life with, start a family with. And uh, despite maybe all the all the small hurdles and obstacles that we went through, at the end of the day, like I'm always reminded that I made the right choice as far as who I chose to be my wife. And for that, I'll definitely want to do it all over again. Oh, that's <laughs> and for you? Oh gosh, um, would I do it again? Oh no, no. Um, <laughs> Obviously, yes, you know, we have a good marriage and um, we get along, but like, if you ask, if you showed me a glimpse of the obstacles that we went through in mm -hmm. the first few years um, before we got married, I would have hesitated, yes. right? Knowing where we are now and knowing how we're really striving for a better future and we're um, on the same page and you know we do bicker about things and it's not perfect but we really um, want to move forward together and if you would have shown me before we got married now then I would have said yes but before we got married if you would have shown me year two for example infertility um, bickering fighting all the time crying you just that that growth yeah. that we had to go through and what how I had to change myself because that was very hard for me. Mm -hmm. um, I would have hesitated. I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I could do this, but um, I'm definitely glad I did. It's um, definitely changed me for the better, mm -hmm. for the better. And um, yeah, I can definitely see ourselves uh, continuing to grow. And um, yeah, yeah. And like I know, f uh, just to expand on, on, on that that tough area that we had or that tough moment or those tough moments we had in year two uh, and mainly based on the certain expectations that we had either from what we need to contribute in the relationship or what we were expecting from the other person I just think that I wasn't willing to change oh, okay. like I was set in my ways and I was like no I really want like why would I have to change I already changed this 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 and this and that it's sort of like you want it to be 50 50 when it's like 100 zero and i just had to learn that and take full responsibility for the marriage to work and not blame anything on letter and um um really make sure that i do everything so that it worked and at the beginning i wasn't willing to do that i really wanted you to put in some effort and rightly so yeah but you can't expect the person to do certain things if you yourself you're not changing. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, that's where my mindset changed, and I was like, okay, let's let's change and make this work. Yeah. yeah. So that's our um, episode on would you do it all over again? We want to hear about you. If you know, it's a little bit of a tough conversation to have and something to admit, but really diving into your marriage. Um, and seeing what you expected it to be versus what it really is now mm -hmm. and based on that would you do it again and if not then why not and what can you change today um, so that changes to a yes yeah absolutely all right well thank you for watching until next time yes don't forget to like subscribe and comment